To reconstruct human bodies given a single image, existing methods use weak perspective projection, which assumes that the camera is placed far away from the person. Hence, they resort to using unrealistically large focal length values. For example, 5,000. For the extrinsic parameters, they assume an identity camera rotation. This assumption holds true for some images, but not for all the images that we capture in daily life. This leads to errors in the reconstructed bodies. For example, the tilted body in the first example and the wrong body pose in the second example. To address this, we train a neural network called CamCalib to estimate the following camera information directly from an input image, the camera pitch and roll angles, and the vertical field of view. We exploit this estimated camera information in a novel neural network called SPEC, which stands for Seeing People with an Estimated Camera. SPEC leverages the estimated camera information in multiple ways to improve 3D human body reconstruction. Our CamCalib method makes several novel contributions and is more accurate than previous methods. Previous work casts this problem as a classification task and uses cross-entropy and KL-divergent losses, which ignore the natural notion of distance. To address this, we propose a new loss, soft arg max L2, to preserve distance during the loss calculation. Moreover, we observe that human pose and shape estimation accuracy is quite sensitive to underestimation of focal length and less sensitive to overestimation. Therefore, we modify the soft arg max L2 term to be asymmetric, such that a lower penalty is applied when the focal length is overestimated than when it is underestimated. Given a single input image, CamCalib predicts the camera pitch, roll, and vertical field of view. We construct camera rotation and intrinsic matrices using these estimated parameters. To train the CamCalib model, we curate a new equirectangular panorama image dataset called Pano360. We generate training data with camera parameters by sampling random viewpoints from a panorama image. For human body regression, SPEC takes a cropped bounding box's input and extracts image features. We concatenate the image features with the estimated camera parameters. From this, we regress simple parameters and per-body translation. The human body mesh and 3D joints are obtained using a simple layer. To train SPEC using 2D joint labels, we project 3D simple joints into the image using the camera parameters estimated by CamCalib. We then train SPEC using standard 2D joint and simple parameter losses. To train and evaluate our method, we propose two new datasets. First, we create a photorealistic synthetic dataset, which has accurate ground truth human bodies and cameras. This dataset is used both for testing and training with separate splits. Second, we collect a crowdsourced dataset. We instruct subjects to calibrate their camera and take videos from different angles while mimicking a predefined pose. Then, we obtain pseudo ground truth labels by fitting the simple model to the videos while exploiting the predefined pose as a prior. Quantitative analysis show that SPEC outperforms the previous state-of-the-art and a fair baseline method. Compared to previous approaches, SPEC predicts better 3D poses while capturing the global orientation of the body in the scene. Due to the unrealistic focal length assumption, previous work fails in the case of foreshortening, which is common in photos of people. Because SPEC uses a more realistic focal length approximation, it better models foreshortening and thus better reconstructs pose. When camera rotation is far from the identity, previous methods estimate unnatural global orientation. The CamCalib camera rotation is used by SPEC to predict more plausible body orientations. In conclusion, we demonstrate that camera geometry can be estimated from images and can effectively be leveraged to improve the accuracy of 3D human pose and shape estimates. We introduce three new data sets. Thanks for listening.